What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now, this one should be kind of an interesting one. I guess it answers a couple of questions that I have in the comment section. But we all know that my probably my top two positions, if not, I would say within my top three positions, you have XRP and you have Jasmine Coin. I don't know why I put those two together uh, a lot of times, but those just, I don't know, maybe it's the color scheme, right? Black and orange, it goes well with like Halloween and and uh, things like that. So I feel as though, you know, I like these positions a lot. I've gained the most from Jasmine Coin out of those two, out of the top three, honestly, I've gained the most uh, within Jasmine Coin. But I feel as though XRP will be the most uh, of an impact, right? The most impactful of all the cryptocurrencies I own. So with that being said, I get a lot of questions uh, related to what people should buy. Mainly, I have $1,000 or I have $5,000 or I have $10,000 uh, to invest. Should I buy XRP? Should I buy Jasmine coin? And that's really the, the question that we're going to answer here today. Hopefully, we can do a good job with answering it without being a financial advisor because I'm not. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to buy. I want you guys to make that decision on your own because it feels a lot better when you make a mistake or you uh, do something good um, when you know that you invested on your own rather than just taking somebody else's advice and taking all of their opinions. And then when it doesn't pan out, it may not be great for you. But if it does work out, you also still don't feel great. You feel great about the game, but eventually you're like, did I really do that? No, you didn't. So uh, pardon my uh, nasaliness right now. My allergies are being weird today, but I'm still going to get through these videos and, you know, I'll give you guys the information that I had planned here today. So if you guys could make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also make sure you check out any of the links for Patreon, Twitter, any of my referral links down below as well. And also at the top of the description, you'll see a link for Margex. If you guys want to trade uh, XRP and Jasmine coin at up to a 50x leverage, you can do that, right? I have XRP up on the screen right here. You see, I have three different positions, two that are in the green, one that's in the red, uh, but I have three different positions that's in, ja in um, XRP. And then if I go into Jasmine coin, um, I have one position that is sitting in there, which actually is at um, a positive here. You're gonna see it's at a positive. Um, I'm up by like 1,800% or something like that. But you can trade these at up to a 50x leverage. If you feel like these are going to come back, you feel like these are going to make a move, you feel like it's going to come back up to the 50 moving average or the 200 EMA or whatever it is, then feel free to invest into these plays, invest with leverage. I expect if you're going to do this to kind of minimize risk and do it at like a 5 to 10x leverage, never like a 50x leverage, unless you get into a unique situation where it has collapsed all the way down to a really low point. And when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I have to, I have to invest at this lowest point. Uh, but let's talk about uh, Jasmine coin. Let's talk about XRP because the conversation always leads to whether you should buy one or the other. Now, if you don't know, I hold a decent amount of both. One, in XRP, I've invested a lot of money into. Uh, another one, in Jasmine Coin, I actually invested a lower amount of money into. I invested $4,000, which I'm still sitting about $21,000 there. So half of what I have in XRP. This kind of shows you that answer of what I believe in uh, a lot more, right? What I see as more of a use case for the long term and the eventual uh, large impact that it can have based on the case that it's involved in. <laughs> Obviously, XRP has way more of an upside when it comes to the use case, right? But when you talk about gain, when you talk about where this can go uh, percentage-wise, you're talking about this is at a two-cent price. It could be a 50x from right here and be at a reasonable market cap. For XRP to see that level of an increase it needs to be at basically like a $300 billion, $600 billion market cap, like these crazy um, or high market caps that some people just don't believe in. And if people don't believe in those market caps, then it's going to be difficult for you to see the potential level of growth, the potential area that it can go to. So again, I have both of them. 
Let's go and look at both of them individually. We're going to look at the positions. We're going to look at the market caps. And then we'll break it down in, you know, what I would consider investing into if we have like a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars and things of that nature. Again, not financial advice. Take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. It all depends on how you want to invest and exactly how you plan on selling the position as well. But if we go into XRP first, or sorry, actually, yeah, let's go into XRP first. Uh, we're sitting at about 53 cents. I feel like XRP hasn't found its ability to run yet. It has, you know, only increased by basically 100% at one point, went up to like 90, 90 something cents from like 40 cents, 45 cents up to like 90 something cents and then decreased down after you saw the continuation of the, the case and the uncertainty that's happening with it, uh, with uh, Ripple. And we're still in the midst of that case. We're still not fully understanding how that is going to end. So it hasn't really taken off. It hasn't really broken out. It's been around these areas for quite some time. Um, with that being said, being around these areas means that it hasn't had that true breakout. But when you look at it and compare to something like Jasmine Coin, right? Jasmine Coin has had that kind of breakout, not a ridiculous breakout that we're expecting to see, but it has had a breakout from a $200 million market cap up to a $1 billion, $1.4, billion, $1. something billion dollar market cap with a billion dollars worth of volume over a billion dollars worth of volume in multiple days it's currently sitting at a one billion dollar market cap with 145 million dollars worth of volume so seeing this you're like okay this has the potential to to run but this has the meaningfulness right the meaning to run right it has the the transaction uh it based currency behind it the world currency behind it having faster speeds having um you know lower transactions uh lower transaction costs right? Having security, having efficiency, all the things that you need within what could be the world currency. And also the parent company taking over kind of the banking space and implementing their payment options there. Jasmine Coin, you don't really have that. You have the thought of, of what the utility would be in the data space, but it's not necessarily fully implemented yet. The roadmap is out there and they're kind of churning away and things are looking great. So use case wise, they're both, both there, but XRP kind of has that edge. So what do you like? Do you like taking on that risk or do you like taking on the consistency in what you could see within something that could be a major player and a major uh, mover within uh, the adoption of crypto? So it's all depending on what you see within it. If you want something that may be more consistent because XRP has had consistent movement, if we go over to uh, Margex and we look at XRP on maybe like a five-year basis or maybe one year. I don't know. We'll look at it uh, in due time. If we look at it like this, we're seeing that consistent growth, right? We're seeing that trend upward. It is, it's a slow trend upward, but we're seeing that trend upward. If we look at something like Jasmine Coin and we go back here to Jasmine Coin and we look at, you know, five years or whatever the time frame is, we are... Now starting to see that more aggressive growth that's happening here. You can see the 15 moving average and how far that has pulled away. And that's the aggressive growth that can happen with it. Now it's creating more of a bull flag scenario, getting ready for maybe an eventual push up again. So it depends what you want. Do you want consistency? Do you want investing for the long term? Or do you want something to where you can have a short term burst? And then eventually, potentially, the long term aspect of it as well. So it all depends on what you want. Um, investing a thousand dollars if you want short-term gains jasmine coin could be that as well as giving you the long-term gains with it if you want something that's more consistent something that you're believing in and that you can build a lot of wealth in as you average into it you could say xrp could be that right five thousand dollars the same way ten thousand dollars the same way it depends on what you want whether it's short-term a massive move uh, because XRP will have that godlike candle eventually, but it will be more on a consistent basis, right? Godlike candle, we'll see it uh, skyrocket up, but it's going to be like it's going to be like this consistent movement. While you see, you know, Jasmine coin that goes boom, like all of a sudden you have three billion dollars worth of volume in one day. All of it's positive, and you're seeing this up to a ten cent price. So from a two cent to ten cent price, that's amazing because you invested a thousand dollars, you turn that into five thousand. That's an amazing gain, right? So. That's what I see within it. I want to know what you guys think and whether you believe that it's going to go anywhere or whether you believe it's not going to go anywhere at all. 
Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Again, make sure you check out my link for Margex if you guys want to go and do the charting yourself or leverage trade if you guys are interested. Again, with Jasmine Coin and XRP, I'm up a decent amount on many different plays. $600 here or 1,800% on a basically $26 investment. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.